Yeah, I would say it yeah. was pr- probably 75 years ago. It was probably rare to find a bagel on my Instagram feed. I would agree. <laughs> We are we two are. photographers wearing black shirts in a black in car. In a black car, and the light is dimming. <sighs> um, so I am floating head Scott. I am <laughs> I am hovering face Spencer. Hovering face. Hovering. <laughs> nice. No, I, th- I think there's enough ambient light that we'll be able to get enough contrast. Yeah, well, we'll figure uh, it out. You remember, yeah. I think like episode two or three, we were... Oh, man, it we, was real. It was night. Yeah, oh, my God, was, That dude. was one of the early photographers in cars. This is our newest episode, yeah. <laughs> we have and learned since then. Yeah, we try not to meet oh. up at night, even with those light <laughs> sticks and sabers and stuff. That was oh, just yeah. not not good at all. Yep. <sighs> so, Harry, how you been, man? Been all right, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. good. This yeah. is looking summer like a pretty is, nice summer. Is summer? It's getting warm. It's nice to be able to have the windows open. <laughs> I didn't even realize yeah. it's just so comfy in here. This parking lot that we happen to be sitting it's, inside looks like it's, it's kind of just quite hanging. enough. I think. I hope we're yeah. other than the car that's about to like honk at us as it drives by. Yeah. yeah. At some point, we actually should record while this car is moving. I, well, I'm, or a car is moving. I mean, you know, that dynamic, we're on our way to a shoot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Maybe do that. we'll do that sometime. We'll do that. Oh, my beard. My beard but, brush. Why don't you go brush your beard? Uh, but uh, today. Feels good. Um, so this is a little bit of a, maybe a, maybe a deeper, maybe a more philosophical topic. Uh, I was reading this article that this part, you know, it's nothing new really mm-hmm. in the sense of, you know, people that are Sorry about that. My taking, coffee. Uh, yeah, you eat my your coffee. coffee. I got, I got tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I have no coffee. Hard. Totally break, ruin my vibe here. What was that? Uh, okay. Let me, let me, let me reset. Center. center. <laughs> we were going deep. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, the whole, th- oh man, I can't believe you're doing that. Yep. 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 Not Soften that we're work. monetized Soften anyway. humor. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll just take the first five minutes of this and put it at the end as an outtake. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I won't do that. So, um, so anyway, it's about like, uh, photography potentially ruining what should otherwise be an experience. And uh-huh. so the article was kind of steering toward the whole you know, do it for the gram type uh, attitude. Okay. Uh, but, you know, as I was reading through it and I was thinking about it, I was trying to think, like, okay, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not out there, you know, trying to take, you know, crazy photos for Instagram or so forth. But were there occasions that I had some type of camera or recording device and it took away from what otherwise should have been a good experience. The example I came up with was uh, the family went to Universal Studios okay. about a year ago or so. And my daughter was really into Harry Potter, spent a lot of time in the Harry Potter thing. And at night they have this cool light show. And of course, you know, it's like, oh, I want to record it. Sure. And so I'm there the entire time, you know, and you don't realize how long like six or seven minutes is until you're like your arms are less like you've been holding something trying to keep it still as much as possible. And I was so fixated on trying to keep the frame where it was. I left going, you know, I didn't, I didn't enjoy the show. I didn't just, you know, put the thing down. And have I even bothered to look at that footage since? I bet you know. Nope. Nope. And so that was like, okay, there's an example. And then, you know, it, it made me think, oh, well, maybe we should talk about this. There is a second side to the coin that I want to come back to. But the, the, the notion of, you know, it, have you found situations where photography got in the way of life? You know, because ultimately what we got at the end of this thing is like what our experiences have been. It's so I have to smile because I remember there was this uh, when I was in uh, Germany a couple months ago. Uh, I remember like it was a. Uh, I had a really heavy bag, and I was just like, man, I started cramping. My legs start, I started like, yeah. my legs started getting stiff muscles, and I was just like, oh, why do I always have to bring all this gear with me? Yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 I mean, that's something that I, in, in recent memory, I remember where the, the equipment just started getting away. You know, I shoot mirrorless cameras. They're, they're lighter. They're supposed to be lighter, right? Well, but, not full frames. No, well, also at the same time, because the cameras are smaller, I can find ways to fit more things in my bag. <laughs> so um, uh, I I have just found that, yeah, sometimes it, it takes away from the enjoyment. It can take away from the enjoyment. Uh, I have to remember to simplify sometimes. But, hey, I'm in Germany. How often am I going to go to Germany? 
mm-hmm. you know. And yeah. so I, I wanted to bring everything that I had, I, and I, I still didn't. I think that's a common trap for. Yeah. I mean, every photographer. You know, um, yeah. I remember the first time I went to Death Valley, and I, I had, I mean, I had a hard case of stuff in the car along with whatever I had on my back, and yeah. most of what was in that case stayed in that case the whole yeah, time. Yeah, like why did? And um, why are we doing this? So anyway. here's the. Have you heard like Jolo is the new or Jomo is the new FOMO, the joy of missing out. Yeah, I've is heard the of- new fear of missing out. So instead of fearing missing out, oh. I'm going to enjoy the fact that I didn't bring this extra thing or I didn't do that. And that's kind of like, at least for this first part of this like two-sided coin thing, that's kind of, um, I like that, I don't think it was an acronym, oh. but I like the philosophy where it's okay that I didn't document this particular thing. You know, uh, roll back the clock 30, 40 years People took photos on very specific, very special occasions. Oh yeah! And now, because of the proliferation of tech, and you we can have take pictures of your bagel, take pictures of everything, yeah. and if that brings you joy, fantastic. But if it doesn't, then that's okay. You know, I would say it yeah. was pr- probably seventy-five years ago. It was probably rare to find a bagel on my Instagram feed. I would agree. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. Yeah. There's probably one guy like, you know, Phineas Sinjin Smith, <laughs> who was the first pioneer of food photography for the masses or something. Yeah. 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 But so, so I want to flip this around though, because then. Flip it. Flipping it around. The other. This thing is, con- I'm sorry, this is condensating. And I'm feeling just like. Just invented a new word. Con- it's like it's condensating. Well, you, but you understood what I meant. And I totally got it. So, okay, no, go ahead. <laughs> so it's, I feel like it's dripping all over my body. It looks like I'm lactating. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> about what? The comment or the actual lactating? <laughs> well, if I am lactating, I do apologize. That would be pretty amazing. Yeah. No. Hey, remember. I'll have to call up Phineas Sinjin Smith <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to take to take a new photo of that. Uh, oh. But anyway, so the the opposite side of this is, you know, I'm reading through this like, okay, yeah, there's these times where I think the camera and the photography is getting in the way. Mm-hmm. However. There are plenty of other examples I can think of where because I wanted to go someplace with the camera, that gave me an incredible experience. And yes. There are, and I think for yes. me that that outweighs the times where the the gear or the, the camera got in my way. You know, I, I discovered so many places just in San Diego mm-hmm. by virtue of I'd like to find a new place to take a picture. One hundred and fifty percent agree with you mm-hmm. that is mathematically it's mathematically correct. impossible no okay yeah, it's like you know, 36 hours a day nine yeah. days a week no i i absolutely agree with you it, i have found that photography has enriched a lot of the times that i go shoot by myself it's enriched a lot of the times that well, i go out as a family i mean mm-hmm. no uh like when we when we do vacations uh for us the first qu- the first question my wife and i ask each other mm-hmm. that's hard that was a, that, the first question that comes up to our minds is is it photogenic hmm, you know okay. and so like uh going to zurich or going to switzerland going to france going to germany going to hawaii all of these things so far the past few months all of these things was are these places fun to photograph and no offense to like the deming new mexico if if you happen to be from deming new mexico awesome you guys have there's a street there that has super good steaks but we wouldn't go vacation there because there's not a lot of places to photograph but yeah so with the intent our intent for mm-hmm, photography mm-hmm. to capture memories has enriched yeah sure our experience yeah it's definitely driven me to yeah. go places that mm-hmm. i would not have otherwise gone and you know maybe maybe to, 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 to tie a bow on this that might be what it comes down to is your your intent if the mm-hmm. desire to be out there with your camera is driving you to have an experience, I think that's really good. Yeah. If you find that there are situations where it's the opposite, it's like maybe that's the time where put the camera down. Yeah. And I'll do this after. I'll do this at sunsets too. Where it's like, like today, I'm looking over there. The sun's going down. This will not be an incredible sunset. But if I were at the beach right now, you know, camera goes in the bag. I'm finding myself a patch of sand, and I'm yeah. just gonna watch the sun go down because. It's nice to do that sometimes. Yes. I don't need to have that on digital media. Yeah. Yeah, no, and and, and I totally agree. I mean, uh, I think at this point, I know when to put the camera down. 
You know, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I do know people who just will not stop taking pictures. Like, I think it may actually be an issue. They take so many pictures. Um, but, uh, you know, I think now we have, there's a decent balance. But, yeah, um, for the most part, mm-hmm. photography has has been a positive impact on what, you know, what I, what I do. Mm-hmm. Sure. So yeah, this, not, this was not as deep as I thought. I mean, philosophically, I want to, <laughs> uh, when you said, Hey Spencer, I want to have a deep, deep uh, discussion for our podcast today. I was like, Oh, okay. It's not that deep, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm relatively shallow when it comes to this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We keep talking about deep and I think I there was know. only one. Yeah. That's what she said. Uh, yeah. That was said. We really got to improve on your repertoire of jokes. I know, I know. Yeah, um, yeah. We should go work on that right now. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go workshop it. We'll, we'll like you know storyboard it out. Yeah. Come Can I bring a camera? Uh, sure. Why not? Hey, it'll enrich this experience. I'm sure that it will. Yeah, and maybe you can get yourself a coffee that will drip all over your body to make it look like YouTube. Well, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, folks. All right, bye-bye.